Hello, this is Chris Cassidy of the Dutchess County Hazmat Team. In this video, we're going to go over some of the indications and features of our newest instrument, the Multiray Pro. The Multiray Pro incorporates gamma radiation detection and part per billion VOC capability for toxic industrial chemical detection, along with for gas detection. It is also wireless capable for transmission of real time data and alarms to incident command. Okay, from the outside, you can see the Pro looks very much like our multi-ray light meters the major visual difference being the protective boot color black versus the multi-ray lights yellow pro has three function keys y or plus mode and n or minus to start the unit press and hold the mode button until the beep sounds I have this meter in fast startup mode and advanced user mode to more quickly show you its basic indications and features. The meter will roll through several self-identification screens. Last one being the sensors currently installed and then the main screen comes up. Our six sensors, oxygen and LEL in percent and percent of LEL, carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulfide in PPM, volatile organic compound and gamma in PPB and micro rem per hour. Top icon bar is for status indication. The top icon is wireless status, showing the meter's radio is turned on. It's blinking, shows you that the uh, wireless network cannot be found. Were it hooked into a network, you would then see a typical wireless single strength meter next to it. This figure icon is the man down alarm, enabled. This icon is for pump status. This one that the meter is currently logging data. Final one is battery signal strength. <clears throat> this icon here kind of looks like a gas bottle. It is for Either a calibration or a bump test is required. If the backlighting is off, you can turn it on by pressing any button. <clears throat> the bottom bar is the soft keys. Soft key bump functions vary according to activity. They are actuated by pressing the key below the soft key. As you can see it takes some time for the sensors to warm up. With all the sensors reading we can see we're at 20.9% uh, oxygen. Zero readings for LEO, CO, and H2S, all normal. VOC background in my garage is about 100 ppb. This shows the sensitivity of the sensor and also how easy it may be. To have false positives in an ordinary enclosed area. Gamma at 7 micro rem per hour is normal. Now let's go over some of the basic activities with the meter. To test the alarm lights and beep, press the Y button. Next I'm going to test the pump stall feature by blocking the gas inlet with my finger. The alarm will sound and the pump flow icon will change to an X. If this happens to you in the field, clear any obstruction, 
and then press the Y key to reset the pump. To enter gamma meter only mode, press the N key and then the Y key. As you can see the pump stops and only radiation is monitored. To enter the gas only mode, press the N key and then the M key for mode. To return to normal mode, press the N key and then the Y key. The LCD screen will auto flip if you change its orientation. Note that when you do, the soft keys will change their mapping for the hard keys corresponding to them. For instance, the arrow key, now currently mapped to the N key, will flip over to the Y key when the screen is inverted. In advanced user mode, we can enter programming mode by holding the mode and end keys simultaneously. The six groups shown here are calibration, measurement, alarms, data log, wireless, and monitor. In this video, we're only going to go over the calibration group, press the Y key, to select fresh air is the only calibration I will demonstrate here the sensor bump and sensor span options are for instrument calibration and can be covered in another video press the Y key to select fresh air press Y again to start fresh air cal The cal takes 60 seconds. This cal should only be done in fresh air, but I'm doing it in my garage to show you what effect it will have on the meter. Okay, at the end, there'll be a pass-fail for the sensors. I'll pass. And we'll go back. You can see the VOC, which had been in the 100 range, is now reading 0 ppb, and the accuracy of the meter is affected. This shows the importance of doing the calibration in as clean as air as possible. So I've covered some of the basic indications and functions of the Multiray Pro to shut down the unit. Press and hold the mode button until the meter turns off.
If this video is useful, I'll continue with others showing some of the uses and functions of the Multi-Ray Pro. Thank you.